what are your biggest issues you see with people that are maybe just opening their seller central account and they're not allowing them to open the account? There is so much of that going on right now. And I know it's frustrating for new folks. It is super important that you have all your business documentation buttoned up before you even apply to sell on Amazon, because now they are doing calls. They're video calls where they can see you. They can see the documents. They want you to hold up your passport or your driver's license that they can zoom in on and see it and see that it matches your pretty face. They want business formation documents. Uh, they need bank account information. And this is not Amazon. This is mandated by the government. They have no choice. They also have to be stricter than they have been in the past because it is the government. There are things that before they might have been like, ah, eh, close enough. And now that's not going to happen because it's the government mandating it. They're trying to stop money laundering and other financial crimes, uh, yeah. which y'all, it's real. Uh, money laundering on Amazon is real. I've seen it myself many times. I've seen extortion on Amazon. I've seen things, really bad things that y'all don't even want to know about on Amazon. There's a lot of stolen goods. So they really do have to crack down on these things. So you've got to have all your documents ready to go. You need some invoices from a supplier that have that match what it says in the back end of your Amazon account. So when you set it up and you put in that LLC, or even if it's under your own name, your invoices need to match. And then they will ask to see emails between you and your supplier. They want to know that these are legit relationships. You're not get buying stuff that fell off the back of a truck. And then last thing to know is there's this horrible thing happening where Amazon will say they're setting up a verification call with you and they give you three times to choose from, or they give you a bunch of times and you choose three. And then they never send you the call information. And so then you reach out to them again and say, no one showed up and uh, no one gave me an email. No, no, one gave me a time. And so they give you, you know, another set of times and say, choose three. And this goes on for months and months. If that happens to you, you've got to escalate it to executive seller relations. Okay. So you're ready for my, my amazing, valuable freebie tip that I'm going to give everyone. You ready? Absolutely. So the frontline escalation group that we like to send problems to is called executive seller relations. And they've been at Amazon a long time, but now they answer the email address, Jeff at amazon.com. So that used to be Jeff Bezos's in-house email address, but as y'all know, he does not run day-to-day -day at Amazon anymore. So now Jeff at redirects to executive seller relations and executive buyer relations. So it's important that when you send this email from the primary email address that you use to log into your account, it's got to be that email. Don't address it, dear Jeff. Address it, dear executive seller relations, because that way they know that you know. So they know that you know that you're not writing Jeff, you're writing them. And then you have to be really brief and say, here's my problem. You know, I'm trying to get verified and no one has shown up or sent me the email to attend these calls. And I've been stood up now six times. Help me. Uh, you have to be really brief. You say what you've already done and then ask for help. You need to include your token. So everyone has an A number. Uh, that is your storefront number. You can find it under your merchant token in settings. Uh, you want to include that token somewhere in the email as well so they can look you up. And again, they know that you know that they're the people who are supposed to help you. So you can use that for any problem that you're having as a seller. Just don't waste it. They don't want frequent flyers. This needs to be for serious business impacting issues.